SF-podden blir presenterad av Eiens trafikskole och Rentrek Sandefjord. Utstyret blir levererat av speakon.no och vi blir publicerat i samarbete med Sandefjords nettsidor sp.no. Ja. <laughs> nei, nei. <laughs> I dag har vi med oss en helt speciell gäst. Ja! Når vi har spillet på besøk, så har vi ti faste spørsmål som alle må svare på. Det var årets feiring. Nå er det lov å feire sånn når vi ligger under tre tog. Og ukens artist, det er ingen ringere enn. Bare sånn for at jeg er ikke noe ulken. Jeg skal bare se hvor spreka meg. SF-podden! Ja da, mine damer og herrer, da er vi tilbake igjen. Vi, SF-podden, episode 110. Når jeg følger deg, Tore, så er det hele jubileum, det. Yes, det er jubileum Vi, vi, vi feirer hver tiende Blir mye jubileum ja, Det blir mye jubileum Jeg heter Jørgen Arne Grande Rortvedt Og dere hørte det her, Tore Ken Skalvær, du også er Hej. Og så kommer vi til å Og veldig spak Ja, Skalvær, Jørgen og jeg er litt sliten Og Jørgen har klaget på at Det er så litt daff ut Så nej da Kommer seg det Daffer enn vanlig Ja, ber å si Den her da Men vi, vi har en gjest i studio som, som forstår litt svensk Men han forstår ikke så mye norsk Så vi kommer til å ta dette her på engelsk Men det er vår nye førstekeeper Walter Vitala Hey, hey everyone Welcome Thank you um, Was that right? Vitala Yeah, now you guys got it yeah. <laughs> yeah. I interviewed them after the, the first game against KFM And yeah. uh, I said it wrong So now I've learned Ja <laughs> um, Usually when we have new guests, uh, we have uh, 10 questions for you. Uh, and this is no uh, different. I just have to play our jingle. Ti faste. Okay, Rev Tore, take it away. Thank you. Okay, the 10 questions are as follow. First and foremost, your full name and your age, please. Walter William Vitala, and I'm 27 years old. Okay, 27. Yeah. Uh, what was the first club that you played organized football for? Uh, Pepe Eira, small team in uh, Helsinki, in Helsinki downtown, pretty much. And oh. there where I started. So you, you, are, you, are, you have grown up in Helsinki? Yeah, downtown, yeah. yeah. Downtown. Downtown. <laughs> you have to say. City boy. It's, yeah, in yeah. city boy. In the Helsinki ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> Where all the boys have caps back yeah, forward. Exactly. <laughs> Can you remember when you realized that you have some kind of potential to play uh, play professional football? I think we had this, um, I think it was around 14 years old. We had this kind of like camps for for every region in Finland and they pick up the best players. So maybe that was the place where I got pick up the Helsinki team. Maybe that was the time when I realized that like, hey, maybe this could be a something something special. Very good. 14. That's that's quite young. It is? Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> um can you mention one or or several persons that have been especially important for you in your development as a football player as a football player of course also always mom <laughs> hi mom of course <laughs> and uh but yeah uh, my first goalkeeper coach called Jarko Tuomisto and he's been i think i reckon my reckon myself as uh, his product and okay. i think he he really made me and uh i'm very grateful that he has been part of my life. Very good. Yeah. And also the, the parents are important. Yeah. <laughs> Most people um, which are a little into football, they have a, a foreign club, um, English, German, whatever. What is your foreign club? Uh, my favorite one is Chelsea FC. Oh, two in a two row. Two in a row? <laughs> What's this? That's quite amazing. So, was but Bryce also Reese? Yeah. 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 My man. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. That's horrible. Yeah. How did you get into that? <laughs> like, it happened a long time ago. Me and my friends started to cheer for Chelsea when I was six or seven. So it came from that. But was a, a specific player or? Oh, uh, Peter Che. Yeah. When yeah. uh, yeah, he was he was the man. He was the man, and he was my idol. So yeah. the mask. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the helmet, I would uh, yeah. suppose, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you name what you consider to be the biggest upturn or upside in in your career so far? 
You mean like a turn of turning point or yeah, yeah. like uh, what the the most important the best you, moment highlight. You, yeah highlights very good. yeah highlights <laughs> uh that's a tough one either my first national team game for the for the men's team against Morocco we won that 1-0 and they had the best team they were going to the African Nations Cup or this uh debut with Malmö and that mm. was uh, very, very, very special. And my brother and his friends were there, so that was a very special moment for me. I think both of them are very good yeah. answers, yeah. Mm. On the other side of the scale, your biggest... Disappointment. Yeah, disappointment. Biggest disappointment... Uh, I have to be honest. Before I was coming here, I was I was training with Minnesota United, and uh, when I didn't get a contract there, that was a big, big uh, uh, disappointment. But then I, of course, I knew then who am I competing with, and it was Vito Manone. So he has mm. a quite a nice CV, and uh, of course that was because I did really well there, and I was hoping for. Get a chance there, but uh, it didn't happen, so I ended up ended up in here. So I'm also grateful for that. But that's <laughs> maybe maybe one of the that for uh, for some days it hurt quite a lot. Hmm. I can quite understand that. Yeah, yeah. If you no, uh, that's the next one. Um, what is, in your opinion, the best player that you have played together with? Together with, oh, that's a tough one. I will say I will say probably oh that is a tough one actually <laughs> I think it was in a national team but he was my colleague so Lukas Radecki mm-hmm. and he's the one of the best keepers in the world so I haven't really been at the same time as in the field as him well, both goalkeepers <laughs> So, but he's so been training together. Yeah, training together many times. So maybe, maybe he's the most, the best, the best one. Yeah, quite good. If you didn't play football for a living, what do you think you would do? I think I would follow my, follow my. What's been a pretty popular in my family is uh, being a doctor. So, okay. <laughs> so that would have been one of the that I've really been into and maybe after a career I will go somewhere to that direction. Hmm. Have you have you studied anything in that direction or Oh uh, not yet. I've been uh studying uh, a little bit but then I also I want to have only plan A, not plan B because if you have both then you're not doing the plan A. Ah. Well, but maybe in the future uh, a few years from now, or you never know what's gonna happen with football. I'm gonna, yeah, uh, put my effort to that too. But you're a goalkeeper. You only get better and better until you're yeah, almost forty. Yeah, that is yeah. That, that, <laughs> so that when is you very... start medical school at age forty, so yeah. you're a doctor when you're forty-seven then. Around or even later, <laughs> yeah. but specialized to something you're closer yeah. to sixty or something. Yeah. <laughs> then, you, then you're too old to get a yeah. job. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Very good. Yeah, but something within medicine. Yeah. 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 So there's there's quite big brains in your family. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I will consider myself as a black sheep of my family. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah. There's uh, there's yeah. They've been. Uh, how do you say like uh they've been doing all right yeah they've been doing all right <laughs> yeah. they've been doing all right yeah, yeah. and uh, the final question where do sf end up on the table this year number one that was good very, I, I like it so short. so uh, easy yeah very easy <laughs> how has it been in, in some of your so far uh really good we had uh two training camps in Spain, that was really uh, top level, top level, and the impression uh, from the coaches. I like the ambitions, even though we're not in the top league, but still the everyday, everyday or the daily basics are in good level. So I'm really pleased with that. Mm. How uh, do you like the city so far? Uh, that's one. I have one problem in here, and this is also 
if if my listeners have available apartments, I could uh, just give me a just give me a message <laughs> in Facebook or something. So that a little bit bothers me because when you live in a hotel, you don't really get to the like every daily basis no. kind of. Ah. So I'm a little bit like uh, I haven't seen that kind of perspective. But the first impression is really really nice city and beautiful city. I like the ocean there. So <laughs> yeah, sounds well, very good. It's usually better in the summer, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need to have a phone call with Bugge. Get shape up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do that. <laughs> yeah. Get this guy an apartment. Yeah, can't be that easy, uh, hard. How yeah. would you rate your your goalkeeper coach? Oh, we I, 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 the... I I rate him very highly. Hmm. I think well, he's young. I think he's younger than me. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Or say so, yeah. I, th- I but, think it's twenty six. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I still, he comes from. Uh, from Espanol and Espanol is very known for producing great keepers and uh, that's pretty much to if you're in that organization it it's pretty much the same as you're studying Yale or somewhere mm. like for goalkeepers so mm. I I value him very very much sounds very good yeah. sounds very good we need to get him here yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah we do <laughs> practice would, uh, of Spanish just first have... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you do that as well. <laughs> you called again. You learn Spanish, and we're yeah. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, did you know that um, the guy that replaced you, yeah, uh, in uh, Olborg, uh, uh, Viborg, 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 yeah, sorry, yeah, uh, yeah, close, yeah. close enough. Is the kind of the guy you replaced here? Yeah, yeah. In like I song? heard, like he's the, oh, he used to play here. Yeah, yeah. I that's that's the only thing I. <laughs> uh, no, no, the situation. I really, I haven't really paid attention to it. But uh, is that uh, usual that um, you kind of uh, switch clubs like that? It's coincidence. Uh, yeah, it is coincidence. And uh, but usually there's like a domino effect or this kind of like if one big goalkeeper is retiring, retiring or changing club, there's this kind of like uh, rotation. Rotation yeah. it starts to happen and it will affect on the lower lower levels too. How long contract did you sign? Oh, uh, two years. Two years. Yeah, it's good. So I, I'm into stability. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. So there's at least one season in the lead, is it? Then? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Very good. good. <laughs> then you're off to China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tried to That's talk to big money yeah, yeah. I tried to talk to my agent about that, but he wasn't that keen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about the last game. Kampen som var. Raufoss away. Yes. Uh, Vestre Toten. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, not the biggest city in the world, or the biggest place. I yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Funny thing is the their arena, Namo Arena. What's that funny? Named mm. after the biggest uh, company in Raufoss. That's not so funny, but <laughs> it's also uh, one of the, how should I put it, one of the greatest industrial uh, companies in Norway, but also one of the ones on most blacklists around the world because they produce a lot of very dangerous weapons. Okay. Okay. Inside information yeah, there. Yeah. And you did know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's by the name Ammo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So all the rev for some ammunition now called mm-hmm. Mammo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Over to the football player side of things. Um, I think Sandefjord kind of dominated the whole game. If we talk about the whole game, uh, not first underwear. ten. Yeah, first ten was wasn't. Uh, was yeah, that was very organized from Sandefjord the first ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Well, you rested me already. Did you, did you sleep? Yeah. yeah. Ten probably. First minutes. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. He was probably. taking the hot dog from there. <laughs> <Yeah. to laughs> feeding feed some kids or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I said that uh, that was was. Uh, on the same level, at least, as on for the first minutes. Yeah, the first ten. Yeah. They were. Uh, but after that, uh, Sandefjord had all of the chances, really. Yeah, after that, it was full control. It was just a waste of chances, but finally they got it in there, so... After that, I, wanna, I was never nervous. No, I mean, neither, really. Yeah, uh, me neither. It was a little sad for Rufo that uh, he got a knock after 30 seconds or something. Mm. And that ended up uh, him being substituted in uh, the twenty th- third minute, I think. Yeah, I um, think it was limping, so, like after the yeah. incident. And how is he now? 
I think he was good. He was walking like、uh, normally, so that's always the, the night after. It's a, it's a, it's a、Swole. big yeah. If if you cannot walk, then it might、yeah. be something bigger. But it looked pretty all right. If he looks like a pirate. He's probably yeah. injured. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he he was in training today. Oh, he was doing some sort of rehab. rehab okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see him. No, we yeah, we were there. I、yeah. was there for some、uh, some minutes. Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, the, Kindergarten wasn't cheap, you know. We had to eat somewhere, so <laughs> <Yeah> . always <laughs> buy the training. Yeah, <laughs> of course.、Um, but in those twenty-three minutes, Sanfu had five big chances in the first twenty-three minutes. That's not usual. No, it's not. And we could have <laughs> killed the game straight straight up there, and uh, and uh, that would be a lot easier the rest of the game. But. We did it the the hard way, and、uh, but I'm happy that we get the three points in a clean sheet. Yeah, but you、so. have to give the credit to their goalkeeper because、yeah, he was outstanding. Yeah, yeah, he yeah was, absolutely, he was really good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I good, think he had the match of his life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did. He stopped everything. Yeah,、uh, those five chances that I talked about.、Uh, Pontus was alone with the keeper twice, and, and shot the ball the right at him.、Uh, Mua has a、uh, attempt over. And one on the keeper, and、uh, Vili has an attempt over. Yeah.、Um, and then Ravos gets a little half chance, maybe when you、uh, get out of the box and try to clear the ball. Ah,、uh, that wasn't half chance. That was, <laughs> it was under control. Everything was under control. <laughs> really? It was not <laughs> offside. <laughs> yeah, actually, it was offside also. Yeah. It was、and、a massive offside.、Actually. Yeah. But.、Okay. Uh, That's、yeah, what, it was on. That's what you saw. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Then I tried to chest it, not <laughs> heading it away. <laughs> But、uh, yeah, I think I think it was, of course, some quality player could have finished from there. But that was quite, quite challenging finishing situation for the opponent. Yeah, it was. But he tried. He tried、yeah. a little chip there. Yeah. But、uh, Marius Evrotten was、uh, in place. But yeah, it, if it was an offside, there's no no chance. Yeah, yeah. So. But、uh, did you feel comfortable out there, or? Ah,、uh, I could have feel more comfortable in a way. <laughs> the pitch wasn't the the nicest one, and、uh, but I th- still think like it was、uh, one of these days that you don't have to do much, and、uh, I still have to be、uh, active, try to be active there and help the team out somehow. And those are almost the hardest games for a keeper.、Mm. Yeah, because you kind of you have to worry to get cold and yeah, that's that one too. Yeah, and and you're not really into the game like、mm. in, and uh, that's uh, that's always a little bit、uh, tricky situation for a keeper. Yeah, so you're dropping the focus. Yeah, it's、exactly. nothing to do. Yeah, and we we actually concluded after the the first match against KFM that it's very good that you're from Finland because you were very cold. In yeah, the first yeah. Half. <laughs> then we said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't have, Anything to do at all in the first half, so it's、yeah. very nice that you are from Finland. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs>、um, but the ref was keeper, lively. I think he was not cold. <laughs> no, yeah, he was not cold. He <laughs> was sweating. Were kind of he was burning calories. <laughs> <then> . <laughs> he was the one who was burning most calories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were kind of in the opposite ends of the scale there. Yeah, as opposed to goalkeeper work. Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah. Because you had that one clearance in the first half, and that was really it.、Probably. Yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah. Um, but、uh, Sandvik <laughs> managed to get、Lazy、one ball. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> one ball past、uh, Lauri, and that's when、uh, Erik Mjelde decides to take the ball from、uh, from、uh, Rafael's player, plays through Mua, who tries to shoot, but、uh, it ends up in the feet of、uh, Engblom. That's sli-、uh, and he slides it in. Well deserved, one nil. Hundred percent. Forty three minutes. Took quite some time <laughs> to to, to pop that. Was it that、bubble. late? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Just grind them to pieces. Yeah. Then score. But I have to say, Mua has been really good this season. Yeah, He, he's been... yeah. He's、uh, he has the quality to 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 kill this league, and uh, hopefully, uh, it comes to the with the younger players. It comes to the how. How evenly can you play? What's your like everyday level?、Mm. And I hope he will keep that level. Otherwise,、uh, he's just one of the young guys, talented young guys. If he can keep that level, then he can be something else, something more.、Mm. Uh, you have a little、uh, pundit in you, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, a little bit. But I've seen so many players, so many talented players that uh, uh, I know what's the what what might happen if mm. if you lose the focus and uh, and uh, I hope he he does very well and I'm very happy that he has been in that kind of form because uh, he's been working hard and hopefully, like I said, he will keep that. Brilliant. Uh, first half, uh, SF leads one 0 Nothing to say about that, Ken. No. <laughs> it should have been more. Yeah, yeah that's the more. only thing you but can say about it. But it's the second game of the season, and you can't forget that Ravfoss lost one game at home last year. I know. Mm. So they're they're a good home team, mm. but they didn't stand a chance. So either if you don't score, it's uh, you're not letting conceiving any goals, and you have full control of the game through so it's just practice 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 and yeah the goals exactly. will come exactly and even yeah. though the the shots don't end up in inside the poles i think it's a good trend that the guys shoot yeah yeah they need to shoot yeah <laughs> yeah and they shot a lot because lively got a lot to do <laughs> yeah <laughs> um the second half really starts where the first one ends um there's a chance with the uh, mua as we said uh when it shoots straight at lively um and then Kurtovic has a chance, which Larry saves. <laughs> and then, after 52 minutes, there's a there's a running duel between Race and Engblom, and it looks like Race should be focusing more on his racing skills, if you know what I mean. Because <laughs> 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 he got parked by Pontus, and yeah, he, he had to do one thing, mm. and that's to to clip him down, really. Yeah. Red card. Correct. Yeah. yeah, it was clear, really. Oh, uh, I didn't even. No, he understood it was red card. He yeah. didn't complain. He no, no, yeah. he was uh, yeah. probably on the that's way off the pitch before. Yeah. yeah, but that was clear. That's that's the one yeah, of the most last clear man. red cards so, I've seen. So. Last man. So that's not a, a rule card. though. He took away a clear goal scoring chance. There's no rule that he was the last man. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It's not. No. no. You have to take away <laughs> yeah, a clear no, goal scoring <laughs> chance. Yeah. <laughs> no, if you're the last man, you have a clear goal scoring. Not if you're at the midfield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> but I'm so tired of people saying that. Oh, it's the last man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. doesn't matter. Um, SF is there playing 11 against 10 the last 35 minutes. Um, and they have a lot of chances before they score a goal in the 63rd minutes. Yep. Minute, sorry. Uh, but this time, it's uh, Larigea. That uh, gets the through ball to Bryce, and he uh, puts it in uh, on the farthest post. And there's Pontus heading in again. Textbook. Yeah, beautiful yeah. ball. It was? That's yeah. a textbook goal. Yeah. Beautiful attack. Um, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just, in my notes here, it says that uh, Sandefur had four clear goal chances uh, before the game uh, is uh, over. But there's this guy called Lavely. Which uh, the ref was supporter joked about uh, having put on 20 centimeters on his arms before uh, the season. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked like that. Um, but 2-0, that's that's okay, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. That's we got the three points and solid solid control of, or good control of the game and clean sheet. Yeah. Nope. You cannot take more than three points in a game, so <laughs> <laughs> so that's no, and uh, the most important thing is two ro- games in a row with clean sheets. And yeah, that can important. this year be pretty important? Yeah, two nil. Who said two nil? You did. Yeah, you did. did. Oh, Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you didn't. You had uh, Pontus, right? But you also guessed that Rufo would put those on. Yeah, but I had two nil. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. half a point. Half a point. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see. Um, we can go straight to the play ratings, really, if I find my jingle after some time here. Oh, fail jingle. Ja, det är riktigt. Ja. Spelar det riktigt nog då? Jag spelar riktigt. Oh ja. Det var han som nynna fel. Ja. Jag trodde det var det jag hörte. I have to say Walter, uh, rating you this game was quite tough because you didn't yeah. have anything to do. 
I'm I'm pleased with that number six. That was like a, like you explained to me a kind of normal, yeah, yeah. normal routine. If you have yeah. a normal job, you can't rate the worker if you don't have anything. New, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so that's uh, <laughs> I I accept that. <laughs> Good. And then you agree with it also? Yeah. Don't just accept. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that one. Have you ever given a ten to someone? No, no, not no. yet. Not yet. Okay. That's that's difficult. That's think, world class. I think yeah. we have one nine. Yeah. Only one nine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's I can't remember who, but he was outstanding that game. Yeah. Maybe it was Rufo? No. Might have been. Or Fella. I mean, uh, I can't remember. It was last year. Okay. Yeah. But there's only. We have a, a saying here in the pod <laughs> yeah. that if you're going to have a, t- uh, a ten point game, you have to match uh, a guy called Olaf Sanetti. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the semi final in the cup against Rosenberg in 2006. All right. He's a right back. He saved two at the line and then he scored two goals as well. Oh, that's pretty decent. Yeah. <laughs> he was everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. Talk about the match of your life, but that was yeah. his match. Uh, so if and after that, it was back at the same level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one of those strokes, yeah. Yeah, uh, that that game was sick. But yeah. the funny thing, he lives here. Still? Yeah. Okay. He's a driving instructor. Yeah. Really? Yeah. We have to him a couple of months ago. We have to get him on the show then. Yeah, we can do that. And, Liten digression där. Ja, ja. Walter you got a six. Uh, Breeze, he got an assist. Uh, was quite involved, I think, in uh, yeah. Sandefjord's build-up play. Ah, oh, he's involved in the build-up play. He's good defense. He does everything correct. He, yeah, yeah. Super he's... control the whole game. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think maybe definitely top three best player of SF. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I I have him on an eight. Yeah, I think he was that good. He was that good. He had I an assist, and he's a he's a he's a right back. Yeah. And he has he was a constant threat to the yes op- opponent. I think he was that. Yeah, good. Yeah, and the defense work he does as well. He's he's just not hammering the ball away. He nope. finds solutions. He passes the ball. Mm, mm. He, he <laughs> or just runs past players. Or yeah. just runs past players. Speed, <laughs> but speed is he's so everywhere. He deserves an eight. But he's very safe, and uh, yeah, I would reckon yeah. son of his best player in this match. Oh really? Yeah. So I'm agree with left with it. Yeah, because I originally had him at seven. But yeah. I'll, I'll go with an eight. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah the best player of the last game. Yeah. yeah. See? Look at that. Three against one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Breeze eight. That's good. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the rest of the defense, Höybrotten, uh, Larige, and Melde all get seven from me. Yeah, I can agree. Uh, Höybrotten a little bit higher than two others, but not an eight, but a strong seven. He doesn't do any mistakes. He's everywhere. Yeah, Larry G is walking his turtle just one time this <laughs> <laughs> this game. It was only one time. Yeah. So And he had that pass to Brice before the second goal. Yeah, yeah. That was brilliant. Yeah. Well, I'm watching him for walking the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's quite on. a that's quite a rare saying. Yeah, he turtle. just walks there slow by the ball, and the opponent come and steals it. It happens uh, against Kofa a couple of two or three times, and it happened one time here. I yeah, know. but then he cleared the ball in. Yeah, I know. In the well, next I'm looking at Larry G. <laughs> okay, Don't feel okay. safe. <laughs> I I actually asked Eric Milde today. Yeah. What his rating of himself was. Because I said I was thinking about giving him a six, and he said no. I should. I deserve a seven. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I like that. Well, <laughs> I don't agree with you, and I don't agree with Melde. I think both Larry and Melde deserves a six. They were not that outstanding, and Hubertten was that much better. <laughs> well, yeah, I think uh, the, the thing that is that make, they make them make everything. They were simple, doing everything very simply, and uh, it was just a standard, average game from. From everyone except maybe Breeze, so <laughs> I think they were at their level and they did their job, and uh, they were in the open and didn't force us to do anything, anything special there. No, uh, they so, had control. So my six is more correct than your seventh. No, yes, he said so. <laughs> yeah, yes. depends on your he rating. Yeah, yeah. yeah so two, two, again, <laughs> two against two, and a guess doesn't count. He's just <laughs> yeah. he has a double vote. <laughs> no, but yeah. both. Uh, He's one of the few guests who actually manage to say something. The yeah. other ones yeah. don't want to. Yeah. Actually, you should, you should get uh, rated higher because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But next time, next time, <laughs> next time. Yeah. No, but uh, Larry starts an attack which ends up in the goal. The same with Milde. 
that should count for something. And other than that, they had good quality games. Yeah, average. Yeah, that's what it I'm based okay. on. That this should be the level, normal standard level. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And, that's, and that's then uh, they cre- uh, are in the creating process of two goals. So I think sevens are in this place. Well, I don't agree, but it's okay. Let's uh, let's the sevens st- uh, stay. <laughs> yeah, it's early on the season. Yeah, yeah. let's be nice. Let's yeah, be let's nice. keep the put the hype there. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's right. The good positive vibes. Why <laughs> yeah. um, and Tito could. Actually, easy got seven as well. But uh, if I yeah, scored on that goal, that would be oh the free kick. Yeah, yeah that was sick. Oh, that was sick. did you see the goal? It was yeah. shaking. Yeah, yeah. the bed is still shaking. There. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, quite quite interesting this because I have Tito on the six, but I have Oyas on the seven. I think he was yeah, a you, notch you better, got... and that free kick, uh, although it didn't go in, deserves uh, a seven. Didn't go in. No, still. I can't, I can't. It's the same as missing. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, but I think he was a, a, a notch better than Tito. So I'm, I'm, I don't no, agree no, with no. you. I, I, you I, know the, yeah. the kind of player Tito is. You don't notice him. He just around there and controlling the game, and he falls yeah. back when he needs to fall back. And yeah. he's that kind of player you don't notice. He's not doing any magic. He's not doing the hard work, but he's there controlling, making a balance in the whole team. So it's extremely important, yeah. but you don't notice. That's Let why it's good. That I give uh, but you don't a understand seven. football, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my understanding of football has quite improved yeah. since we started I know, this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that we can agree upon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but the thing about Tito that I think was uh, quite interesting, really, was um, he. He pushed down and actually played like a sweeper yeah. at some point there. Um, with Heidrotten and Grude at the each side. And just s- starts to build up the play. Yep. Controlled and easy. No, I, I think it was a normal game for Vyas. I think it was a normal, what we can expect from Tito. Yeah, I think that, yeah, the game didn't like uh, ask anything special from those two guys. But I think uh, next Saturday you will see the, the level. Mm. Of course, you've seen Henry many times, but maybe Tito's level will. This will, Saturday, I think. I think. Yeah. I think so as well. He yeah. will really um, shine in all this in yeah. a match yeah. because he will get a lot more to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hopefully not, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, do we agree on six there? Yeah, I agree on six. <laughs> Outnumbered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I'm rooting for you later, so that's yeah, okay. <laughs> um, Mua, clear seven, eight. He is yeah, I can outstanding. agree with like Tore there. I can, if, it's it's uh, very if difficult to pick between him and Briss for the, the man of yeah, the match. Yeah, if Briss gets eight, um, one eats an eight as well. He's yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's that's yeah. unquestionable. He's, he was by far the most active player in much of the game. Yeah. That depends how you see He's on the same it, but level as Briss, but Briss is a defender and he yeah. does a great work on both sides of the pitch. So I, I is a constant threat against uh, the opponent. So he makes himself playable. Eight. He finds good positions. Oh, I think he should get an eight. His his level has improved quite quite a lot from last year. Well, At least we're not agreed. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's but one thing. No, to you're from an, it. you're an outnumbered this time. Mm. <laughs> so we'll get an eight. Ooh. <laughs> Getting high in his pants here, hey? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. For det som hører på, det er de som sitter i studio og ser at jeg sitter med telefonen, jeg har notert dette når jeg satt og så matchen, så det er ikke bare tull. Altså, jeg har gjort en Arvind vitenskapelig innsats for, for børsen min her. Okay. Mm. Um, <laughs> Willie is close to a seven in my book. But I get, he gets a six for me. <laughs> Yeah, it's not close to seven in my book, but no. six is okay. It's a, it's a weak six for no, me. No, it's not. He's not, not a clo- weak he's six. Not, he's not close to seven. <laughs> he's not close to seven. He, doesn't quite he makes good too things, much uh, mistakes. What are you talking about? Didn't you see the match? Yes, I did. Yeah, that's. That, I'm wondering, since you asked me that question. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Could have seen the match better if the cameraman know how to find the zoom button. The yeah. cameraman gets a weak four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he was he was a disaster. <laughs> he was in the disaster. first half he was really, really bad. <laughs> and suddenly in the second half he found the zoom button. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he zoomed when he's not supposed to zoom. <laughs> 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 no, I think I think William gets a, a weak six. 
He gets a six because it was okay, but it's really yeah, okay. Good, he's, he's I think he has a quite good a game as well. I don't think he has a good game. Then you should watch the second half again. I should I should be substituted. <laughs> In my you book. should be, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, what what <laughs> that's what you said. That's what you said. I should be substituted. He said. should be no, substituted. You said I. No, no, no. <laughs> no, Could but uh, in the second half, but didn't. But it's important as well when you have that control to to let like a guy like Willy complete the game mm. ninety minutes from the coach's point of view because he's got a lot of potential and he mm. needs match training and yeah. He he's could have past scored. talent, but he's uh, he yeah. can be he yeah. can evolve a lot more than he needs time. Could have got a goal there or two, maybe. Yeah, actually, should be a little bit more aggressive on in the mm. ending because he he's got a good shot and he has more opportunities to shoot. Mm. So, yep, yep. Um, I don't rate Ruth, uh, Rufo because he gets substituted too early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so it's only Sturbeck. Um, he's better than against Koffa. Yeah. So he gets a six from me. So like I said, he's closer to home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but I, I agree on a six on Sturbeck. Um, we have seen him better in, in quite a few matches, but this was okay. And as you say, a, a step up from the Koffa game because that was not good. No? But you agree on a six? I agree on a six. And it was a better six than uh, Kurtovic? Oh, yeah. <laughs> A okay. better six than Sukutovic. <laughs> well, we'll disagree on that. Um, final uh, final man, Pontus, two goals, eight. No question. You clear eight. I'm agree with Walter. <laughs> <laughs> what is Walter saying? Walter, no, say, Walter I, say seven because he, <laughs> he burned too, too many, many chances. <laughs> but I think, yeah, like it's not Pontus. He's also creating those chances yeah, he's fast, as, fast as hell and... Uh, and two goals, you yeah, cannot. Two goals. You cannot. Yeah, that's a. That's okay. always a big thing if you score two. That's mm. not that usual. Give him eight, and he got rid of the mustache as well. So. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> strong <laughs> eight then. <laughs> 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 because he didn't score with the mustache. Yeah. So, at one point last year, I said if he get rid of that mustache, he's probably start scoring again. And look what happened. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a free card as barber. Yeah. So our top three players then are Breeze, uh, Moa, and Pontus. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, Left Tour has been high in his pants, so uh, I think it's time for a challenge, don't you? Already? Uh, yes. <laughs> are you going to mess with the uh, with the uh, <laughs> Eric er- er- Yes. <laughs> the, just to get some mess consistency. With okay. <laughs> Here comes the jingle. Okay. Um, this season, Walter, we're having uh, challenges against uh, our guests. Yeah. Uh, we're up one to uh, nothing. Um, I challenged Breeze last time and won the finger spinning contest. And this time, it's Left Ure that's uh, challenging you. And uh, Left Ure. Yes. What are you challenging Walter in? A bucket. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there is a ball inside as well. Ah, it's not the oh. bucket list. No, it's not the bucket <laughs> list. <laughs> yeah, maybe very stupid of me to challenge a keeper uh, oh, yeah, in this yeah. sport, but uh, <laughs> I think that the goal is quite smaller than he's used to, and the ball is also uh, out of si- size. Uh, I thought we'd start with best of three. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, and if it's a tie, we just continue yeah, until yeah. one of us the, the one of us uh, <laughs> messes up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how, okay. far, how far do we need to have it? <laughs> it needs to be some distance. From, yeah, it needs to be some distance. If that's where we start. Yeah. From here, is that okay? Is that too short? Uh, I determine brother. Do you want to start or do you want to go second? Okay, I'll start. Okay, this is. I'm not very good at this, but that <coughs> is also the point. Yeah, yeah. I'll comment here for Norsk. Let's do it. First man out here now. He casts. Oi, he takes it. Overraskende nok. Bra left to it. One in the bucket. Har du sett? The pressure is real. Han må ha presset på. Han har valgt å skjente ut. Oi. It's a miss. It's a miss. I know the Finnish word for that, but I'm not going to say it. 
Oj oj nej, det är så dur igen. Jag sliter lite med att snacka och ha kamera samtidigt. Ja, är er den närmare? Oh, 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 to, to left to the. This means Walter, you have to hit this one or else it's over. Oj oj press. Han bommer. SC på nedert. Oj. Walter på igen. Aj aj aj. Han är my han är my glasses. Thanks so much man. Easy. This is very good. This is too easy. You guys been practicing. Oh, no, we haven't really. That's the. <laughs> Not the question really on Ken because he's challenging someone next week. Yeah, I got a challenge that no one beats me at. So. <laughs> so What's that? Arm wrestling? <laughs> no, we tried that before. <laughs> How did that feel, that- Walter? Arm wrestling. Probably I will dislocate my shoulder. And <laughs> but how uh, how do you take this loss? Is it okay? Uh, this is tough one. Absolutely not the way I want to start this week. <laughs> 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 and, uh, <laughs> with these good feelings to the weekend's game. Yeah. But if That's you had an apartment, you would beat him because absolute, then you were throwing absolutely. the garbage in the bin. Yeah. yeah. Now you just you throw got it, it right. on the floor because <laughs> you're in the hotel. Right. <laughs> you got it right. Somebody's <laughs> cleaning them up. Yeah. Bra, also. I feel like you're a femmer of me. Where can you even have not had more hype over another? Femmer. Femmer. Stark shoe. All sex style. Then you pick a fem. Och sån ja, det är er sån fem ja, ja, ja. ja, på norska är er det fem. Nu var jag på nu var jag på spillebörsen här så. Nej nej nej, för där är er jag en åtter i alla fall. Ja. <laughs> Visst du tar sen under ett så så ligger du på en femmer tänker jag och vi Oj ja väl ja. <laughs> Marie är er som går hem här. Och jag drack upp den här alltså. Jag drack upp och så ligger jag på en femmer. Okej. Okay. Ja väl. Du har så suttit det? Nej då, jag gick bara vart och enig med det. Okej, back to English now. <clears throat> oh, so we're settling down. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have to consider doing something else if this ruins the, uh, the player's week. Yeah, this is tough, you know. <laughs> if if we lo- lose the game on uh, on Saturday, then no more challenges. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have to lose on purpose. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but this was not as big a disappointment as uh, not getting signed with Minnesota United. Yeah, this was close. Close. <laughs> close with it. <laughs> Oh, Don't I'm think about Minnesota. Feel a little bit ashamed now. now. <laughs> yeah, they I'm have over Mac- it. I'm over it. They oh, have good. McDonald's here as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been there. <laughs> okay. Um, new jingle. Kampen som kommer. Nu är er kampen som kommer. Nu är er kampen som kommer. Uh, next game. It's a big one. It's Ålesund. Uh, Ålesund. Yeah. I'm not going to say the reference no. from Heimbanen because I don't, do don't swear on this podcast, but uh, you all know what I mean, probably. If you've seen Heimbanen, no, <laughs> no, not going to do it either. Oh, look at this sexist! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, female coach in the. No, no, it's nothing to do with that. It's just a Norwegian shit series. <laughs> okay, well, that was objective. <laughs> uh, no, but all uh, all of a sudden. Um, we're going to interview the supporter leader for uh, for Stormen but he's in Canada and was uh, in a meeting so it didn't go and all the others wanted to talk to us we're scary and i guess we haven't got a hold of Lars either no nope. oh. he hasn't answered no nope. he's, he's a busy man probably yeah probably yeah <laughs> we we're not i'm not quite surprised remember when we tried to get him on uh, as of Bodden earlier, he was not easy man to get a hold of. No, but we got him. Yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> anyway, um, they also got six points from the uh, first two games. Two one nil uh, victories against Start away and uh, Kongsving at home. Um, Lars Boyen, the former coach of Sandefjord. Yeah. He's known for playing 3-5-2. Okay. So I'm guessing... <laughs> No, I'm not guessing. I know that Olsen also plays three five two. Um and before the season I think Olsen was bigger favorites than Sandefjord. In some of the expert uh, yeah. columns they were, yeah. But uh what do we think about that, Ken? No, they're gonna be up there. They look like they're having a strong team this year as last year, but like you know, I'm not as friendly as you guys with that system he plays. I don't like it, and I don't think they have the quality that that you need to play that system for a long season. 
No. And you saw that last year as well because they were leading until the end of the season and it collapsed. Yeah, I think it was the last two games or yeah. something. But definitely a strong team and yeah, <clears throat> and it's I think it's going to be a big win for Mr. Bowen to to come in here and and beat SF. He's going to be I think he's more of it. Yeah. That's why we're not going to let that happen. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen, but I, I, I just say either. it's a, it's a, probably one of the toughest games this year, and yeah. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing uh, that it's so early in the season. I think it's it's not going to be a well played match. It's going to be a knuckle match. Yeah, and on I a little bit on the even pitch, and mm, yeah, it's going to be, be tough. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of duels. Yeah, because both teams, teams, sorry, like to uh, play football. Yeah. So, I don't know if the pitch is going to allow that in. Did uh, you go that day? No. 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 I saw it. Has, hasn't got any better. No. So. Ah, we'll bring see. bring mm. some green spray up there. Yeah. On Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but I think there may be coincidences that's going to settle or determine the outcome of this game. I don't know. It could be, um, but um, he's got his strikers. If they're well, they've been mm -hmm. injured. So if they're back, they're quite big. So it's not unlikely that they're going to have a lot of crosses. So you have to go out and pick some balls. Yeah, I that hope. sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> pick some balls and kick some legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, but. In, in in philosophy, uh, Marti and Lars is not on um, how to say uh, each end of the scale because they they both like to play football. They like yeah, passing yeah, yeah. and they like uh, building up the play. From yeah, tryouts and yeah, yeah. I think that <clears throat> uh, one of Sonnefur's strengths in this match might be that uh, Marty is not rigid when it comes to playing in a system. He wants the, the team to adapt to what the opponent does throughout the game yeah. and to adjust the way of playing throughout the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and as we know, Lars is very strict when it comes to system mm. and he's very strict when it comes to game plan. And he yeah. does not, in the same way as, uh, as Marty does, let the players be creative and choose what to do uh, when playing the game, yeah. uh, and Lars, that I think Lars is the opposite. Yeah, yeah Lars, mm. he he doesn't want that. He wants them to be very strict into yeah. his plan with his game plan. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and I think that might be one of the upsides for Sonnefur in this uh, this game that Marty has a, has a very different philosophy when it comes to to how the game evolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And basically, Sonnefur has got the uh, the answer to all of Lars's um, how how do I say uh, tactical. Uh, yeah, they know how he thinks. Yeah, and they got a document that he's written about how to play football, so okay. it should be. And he doesn't deviate from the plan, so it's just open the book. <laughs> yeah, but, but it really is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Sportsplan TSF. That's what the Boeing wrote all of that. Yeah. So there's there's going to be no surprises. I hope for, for Sandford in this game. And if uh, <coughs> if Mr. Luda has done his job and um, did, did the analysis analy anal analysis that was very difficult <laughs> analysis of the game, I think uh, think this should be a good game. Hopefully, yeah. Um, there's quite difficult uh, to pick an Olsen team because I haven't followed them for uh, quite some time. But uh, I, I just saw the first game again start, and I sh couldn't bother to watch the second half. It's just dead boring game fell asleep two times <laughs> uh, and that goes for start as well but yeah. I think maybe all the games in the first round was like that so yeah. I didn't see them last time I should have but I didn't the biggest question really is the strikers because um, they've been out so um, I don't know if they're fit but they're I think they're hoping to get fit to this game they haven't played yet they played in the first match uh, yeah. and got substituted both of them. So uh, I think they have some knocks. It had some knocks in that first game. Did not play the last game. It wasn't even on the bench. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, but this is what um, maybe we're going to see. <laughs> I can't yeah. say what I, I picked. That's stupid. But Lee is in goal. And Greta from the Ramstein and Lee. 
the brother of the goalkeeper, um, twin brother, yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have a good connection then. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, is the three in the back, and then Hattehol, Trandarsson, Carlsen, Larsen, and Fet. I think maybe that's also mm, likely to say it like that. Maybe uh, Goye, Goye um, is on one of the sides, but I don't know. And if Agdestein and Fridjonsson are fit, they're playing. Yeah. There's no Because question. they are the first choice strikers. Yeah. 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 Um, and if not, they, he played the Sätre and uh, Goye. Gray is pretty good. Yeah, but I think he's. I, he's I don't a think he's a striker. And off player. Yeah, like but he I'm can do magic and sometimes he doesn't do anything. <laughs> We had some of those. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to see what uh, Gray played in the last game. Oh, he was on the bench the whole game. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he's a striker. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Time will show. Um, that's it for uh, Olsen, really? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be a tight game, I think. I think so as well. At least in the start, yeah. until SF oh. settles down and... Hopefully. ...know SF. how to outplay Olsen. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Hopefully Sandefjord is going to be a little more efficient <laughs> in yeah. their chance-taking yeah. than they have been in the first two games. So let's hope for that. <gasps> But we're going to pick a team. I will get the board. <coughs> Brilliant. Oh, this is new this year. We have a board so we can see the team while we pick Yeah, it. I saw that. I saw that. That's <laughs> impressive. And uh, as usual, we're going to play 4 2 3 1. Yep. Right? Yep. That's how we. How we. Now we're picking a team. Yeah. yeah. So we are picking Not my key. <laughs> <laughs> You can uh, you can join us. Uh, yeah, absolutely. In, uh, at least say what your opinions. Yeah. Uh, Rufo is walking normally. You said that before. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully he's fit. Didn't see much of Rufo after he got hurt in the first uh, no, thirty seconds. So he was injured and just try to shake it off, and then automatically you get a little bit disconnected. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think it was a good choice to come yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we want. Obviously, we want Walter in goal. Yep. Yeah. Two yeah. Thank you, guys. Row. Appreciate it. <laughs> so you're no gonna, problem. You're going to keep the board like this? Yeah. For I, yourself? <laughs> I, we, are, we are going to make a film of it afterwards, ah. but I can turn it around. I thought that uh, it didn't matter since we are picking them out and we film it afterwards, but I'll, I'll do like this. Uh, I don't think this is the <coughs> game for Anton Kral. No. no, I don't think either. Uh, because Olsen is uh, known to be a little more physical than uh, maybe other teams. So I think I prefer Mjelde there. I, I actually think so as well. Uh, actually, I think that the back four, like we have it uh, on the board here, uh, is a quite good start lineup. Yeah. I would put Raima in. Yeah, instead of uh, Grodo? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't agree with you this time. Actually, I'm going to... Um we need Larry G here because uh, at the same point that yeah, they, they they're good, the, at, it, they're it's good on their heads yeah. the, and uh, Larry G is very good on his head good points yeah I think so, so as well. I think he's uh, he's much better up there than Raima and Raima hasn't played this year you're not gonna I, I don't put, think he uh, will him get to the, start in, in the this start game. 11 um in such a tough game with no no game experience this year so i'm 100 sure you're gonna see the old good larry g yeah i don't disagree mm -hmm. uh, i kind of spoke against yeah. myself there <laughs> after sending anton to the bench so um yeah well But i agree with anton uh, i think yeah. this is a game that needs experience and uh, Mjelde has experience and he's a little bit bigger and he's good on the head as well. Uh, I haven't seen that much of Anton yet. He, so I, I don't know how he is in duel. Mm. Sometimes when he, you you can be a good duel player even if you're not big. It's yeah. just how to time it. Yeah, mm. I played against many small players my size. That's 
yeah, being absolutely. mid-stoppers, mm. that's impossible on the head because they time it correctly yeah. mm. and the way they go into your body. Yeah. So it uh, really hasn't anything to say uh, if, you, if you're a good short player, but I haven't seen that much of Anton yet, so I don't know. Go safe. Yeah. And Breeze is no question. No, it's no question. Neither, neither Høybrot nor uh, Breeze is uh, questionable, I think. Nope. No. If we do something about that, we will be mental. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and actually, I think that the two next guys also are pretty pretty safe. Yeah, I think so as well. It's Enrique and uh, Tito. Yep. Uh, no need to change those two. No. Then it comes to the the three. Um, yeah. Willie played the last game from the start. Uh, but I think in th- in this game, as we said before, the du- uh, we think the duels is going to matter a lot. And I think to be but is off gear going to play right or left? Left. Yeah. Like this? No. No. Off gear. There you go. Yeah. To be us in the middle. Yeah. Um because I think he's a better is a better dual player. He's to be more, us? Yeah, he's more how to say elite, not that. <laughs> Yeah, he's a and compact he's a, player, yeah. he's a terrier. Like he never gives Low, up and he, yeah. he tears the opponents down. And mm. I think that's important in this game. This game is not like Willy's like a fine smasher. You don't need yeah. that here. You need a pit bull. And that's that's kind of a, a funny thing to say because Svensson is also a fine smasher, but he also has that other, other yeah, side he's of got his game. That, he got a killer instinct that Willy's haven't got yet. And he's a constant threat, and he's, I would say, like uh, other football player, he's a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He never gives up. He's at your boots all the time. He's, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, and uh, Mua, it's been brilliant. Yeah, you can't, can't, can't bench him, him. I can't see any reason why he shouldn't play. <coughs> no. So he's on the left, and then if Rufo is fit, I think you should play on the right. Yeah. Uh, if he's not fit, I would have Vidar there. If he's not fit, I would have Ofkir on the right and um, Mladenovic on the left because his speed. Actually, I agree on that. And because the way all is in place, yeah, but you Vida, know SF before. Is there much with, difference with, in the speed between Vidar and, uh, and Stefan? They're pretty, pretty same type of players, I will say. I think they're quite equal yeah. on the speed. Mm. I have any results on that, but that's uh, my uh, impression. Yeah. I would pre- I would prefer Vidar. He's he's been proved to yeah, yeah, be a goal scorer. So and, and, yeah, and and in the winter, yeah, they have both been scoring goals in the winter. But yeah. But should we start with uh, these three guys? Yeah, I, th- I think if Rufo is fit, he was the best player for Sunderland last year, so he should be in the starting yeah. eleven. And it's as we pick what we want and what we believe, so. Yeah, we'll but if, those if, three stand. if it's not fit, I would have Vida there yeah. and just yeah, swap okay. those two yeah. okay. straight. And, and on top, Pontus on the top. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Okay, so that is our team. It's the same as the last uh, team, really, that we picked. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. No changes at all. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a few surprises. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think we will again. I think as well. There's no, there's no knowing with Marty. No, <laughs> no, no, no. And we got good, like good players on the bench. We can rotate. Yeah. All the time dep- depends on the game. Yeah. So that's a that's good. luxury we're not used to. Yeah, absolutely. And a good team needs that the kind of variation. Yeah, and I think the team this year is stronger than the team last year. Yeah. And, w- and now we won division down. Yeah. So, so yeah. So I've heard. So yeah. I've heard. Brilliant. Yeah, that's it. When you're in no. the end, result tip. Yeah, yeah, I know, that's I know, it for I the know, team. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, we have to go home. There's a Champions League game tonight, so. Oh, is it? Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> But um, we need result tips. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we always start with our guest. So if you have a, what do you think the the match score will be, Walter? Uh, two zero for us again. Yeah. Brilliant. Can't say anything about that. Who will score? You? Oh, oh wow! <laughs> then I maybe could get uh, ten there. Yeah, huh? maybe. <laughs> uh, I will go for Mua and Pontus. Mua and Pontus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Safe bets. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe in 
they've been, you know, like Mua last game, he was like on beach scoring goals. <coughs> yeah. Next game, he will he will put it put it in. It's hard to disagree with you there, actually. That's. Uh, <laughs> I hope this uh, doesn't get boring. Yeah, yeah Ken. Ah, oh, take you three one first. <laughs> yeah. Why are you so boring? Take three one. <laughs> three one. Everyone. Okay. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. For how God know how many years? <laughs> yeah. uh, it's about. The, uh, it's the fourth year this year. <laughs> 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 I know. But yeah. Obviously, three one. Um, I'll go with. Uh, Enrik, Pontus, and Moa. Yeah. Okay, Ken. One nil. I was going to say this, yeah. I was going to say two, but yeah. <laughs> someone caught me. One nil. Uh, yeah. The Swede without the mustache is going to score again. <laughs> Pontus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, left with well, uh, I was actually going to pick 2-0 myself, so and uh, since also 1-0 is taken, I have to go with 3-0 then. <laughs> not 0-0? Zero, zero. Like no, that. not 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> we're not going to get a tie in this game, and we're not going to lose. So 3-0. Three, three That's not never going to happen this year, that we're going to have a tips with No, with, with loss draw. or draw. Yeah. No. <laughs> and actually, uh, my, my goal scorers is uh, the same as you. I think Pontus, Mo and, and uh, Enrique. Look at that. We end this podcast on a green. That's not good. No. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, a statement. Statement? Yeah, that I can disagree on. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, <do. laughs> we can end it with, uh, with uh, agreement. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Walter, thanks a lot for coming. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. And remember, yeah. if you got an apartment for rent or yeah. something like that, see Walter if, needs to know. Yeah, yeah. see if you two bedrooms. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we're going to put it on our Facebook accounts yeah. as well. Do you, yeah. Yeah. Sweet, thank you. So you want to see if you... Yeah, well, I'm in Norway. Look at that. <laughs> it's of course, of course. Yeah. Sea view, sea view, <laughs> apartment, <laughs> apartment. Yeah, get on it. Come on. Hey, thank you for that. Heard about? We we thank you for that. We for that. They have been two sponsors for us now in two, two, three years. Three years, maybe. Yeah. Have been there. Three years. They are good. And so is the camp uh, Lørdag klocka femten tretti. Femten tretti. Det er bare at møde op. Ja. Uh, Ta med så mange dere vil. Det blir det en kjempematch. Det tror jeg også. Runar får gratispretter. Det samme gjør vi balkrubben, tror jeg. jeg vet Nå får de benytte seg av det, ja. Ja, det er akkurat det. Så det er bare å gå inn eh, på nettet, og så skrive den koden dere får fra, fra trenerne, eller hva dere vil. Så får dere gratispretter. Det er bare å komme. Det er ikke noe lurer på det, vel? 